I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I ask you to sit. Uh, in the first place, I would like to introduce myself to you all. I'm your brother, brother Jonathan Mohini, from Sorwezi, Zambia. Uh, this is my first time to be here in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. It's the first time to meet you people here. But I believe we already met somewhere. It's not today that we have met here. We met when we accepted our Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm not a stranger with you. Here. I am your brother. Because we are in the same message. Hallelujah. Let's look in the first Peter. Kangalia katika Petro kwanza. First Peter chapter five verse eight to ten. Uh, Petro kwanza sura ya tano mstari nane akum. Uh, maybe I ask the brother to read in Swahili. Tano maduga sima kaje kusubi. Uh, first Peter chapter five verses eight to ten. Petro Alwanza, Sura ya Tano, Mstari wa Nani, Waka Wakumu Ika Jina Rabwana Muwe na kiasi na kukesha Kwa kuwa, mshitaki welu ibilisi kama simba angurumai Huzunguka zunguka akitafuta mtu ammeze Nani mpingeni huyo mkiwa thabiti katika imani Mkijua kuwa, mateso yale yale ya natimizo kwa duguzenu walioko duniani Na mungu wanema yote aliwaita kuingia katika utikufu wake wa mirele katika kristo Mkisha kuteso kwa mda kidogo yeye mwenyewe atawatengeneza na kuathibitisha na kuatia mbubu We can add uh, Ephesians 6 Tunawaza kongeza uh, wa Efeso 6 10 to 13 Mustari wa kumi mpaka kumi na tatu Hatimaye, mzidi kwa hodari katika bwana na katika uweza wa nguvu zake Vaeni sila zote za mungu mpate kuweza kuzipinu nga hila za shetani Kwa maana, kushinda na kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama Bali ni juu ya falume na mamlaka, juu ya wakua giza hili Na juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika urumengu wa roho Kwa sababu hiyo, kwaeni sila zote za mungu Mpate kuweza kushinda na siku ya uovu, mkiisha kutimiza yote kusimama. May the Lord add blessings for reading. Bwana na ungeze baraka kwa kusoko kwa deno laki. Now brother Pastor Mamba to pray for us. Nige mwama nigu mwama atuombe. Let's pray. Na tuombe. Heavenly Father, Baba Ito Bi, we come before thee. Tunakunja pele zako. That you may come down and speak to thy children. We don't want any ways from a man. We want a ways from above. Yeah. 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 We invite you in this message to come so that you may talk to us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we, shall we be seated? Uh, we are going to look at uh, the greatest battle ever fought. That's the subject the Lord wants to speak to you and me. 
Yule nisoma ambalo Bwana anataka kunena na ninyi na mimi pia. Because wherever you are, kwa sababu kokote uliko, you should know that there is a battle. Lazima ujue kuna vita. And as children of God, na watoto wa Mungu, we are in the battle. Tuko katika vita. So now we are looking at the greatest battle ever fought. Sasa tunatazama vita vikuu viwayo kupigana. We should identify what a battle is. Tunapaswa tutambue vita ni nini. A battle is a fight of two people. Vita au pigano ni pigano kati ya watu wawili. And when there is a fight, na wakati kuna pigano, the causes are ba it could be a uh, power hungry inaweza ikawa it could be ya, inahitaji nguvu it, it could be political affiliation inaweza ikawa ni ku, ku kisiasa it could be land dispute inaweza ikawa ni kushindania ardhi and when all this happens wakati haya mambo yanapotokea and effect kuna madhara and the effect of that na madhara hayo you find there will be problems unaweza kutakuwa kutakuta ngumu kuna umaskini ugonjwa there will be death kuna vifo there will be refugees kuna wakimbizi there will be loss of properties unaweza kuwa kumeharibika mali that is what comes out of that battle hayo ndio matokeo ya vita but now what we should understand lakini kile tunapaswa kuelewa that our god kwamba Mungu wetu is a soldier that does not sleep ni askari asiyelala
well, if you want to pass well, if you want to do well, I should sit with you. That's yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I should sit with you. Then you pass your exam. But if you are a child of God, you tell that the child Oh my 
Now before the battle can be put in array. Sasa kabla vita vijawekwa kwenye mpango. The first have to choose a meeting ground. Lazima wachague uwanja wa vita. A place where the battle is to be fought. Mahali ambapo vita lazima vipigane. A selected place. Maana yaliyo teuliwa. Where each army would try to test their strength. Ambapo kila jeshi lazima They will 
not take you to heaven. Some of you are even going to people's wives. You are here. Some of you are even going to people's husbands. Yes. But God is seeing you. Think around my sister, my brother. Yes. As we finish, come here and repent. Hallelujah. Even as we finish, try to set your mind in. What you have put in there, if it's not in the line with the word of God, come here and repay. If not, come and see what's in heaven. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 But if it's a sign of God, you would say no to whatever devil is going to tell you. Amen. 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 Jesus said, yes, what is it? if you abide in me, Come on, and my words abide in you, then ask whatever you will, and it will be done to you. Hallelujah. Now, the problem is why God doesn't answer you. Because there are some sick things in your mind. God doesn't work like that. God wants people who are straight. So that even when you ask him, he is going to honor. Hallelujah. Amen. You are thinking about that boyfriend. So you should know what you are going to do to do about that boyfriend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's your mind that opens the door. And close the door. And listen to your conscience. And listen to your memory. But when your mind closes itself to those things, and let God, the spirit of wealth, come into you, it will grow the rest of the things there. That's when she made a mistake. 
Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. So that's what we're supposed to do. He told you to on fire. So my sister, my brother, don't just say no. I am an entire messenger. I am an entire messenger. My sister, let me ask you. You are an entire message, brother. What about your deeds? How is your character? Does your character move with the word of God? Does your attitude move with the word of God? Do you move before the end time message believer? So don't just say no. How oh, is the entire message believer? This entire message, believer, it will not take you to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the word of God in you will take you to heaven. The word of God in you, it will going to protect you. The word of God in you, it will do something good for you. Don't just sit down. You don't do your good. Don't just feel shy. No, if I go and repent, Pastor also you will see me like this. Yes, sir. <laughs> amen, amen. amen. So we need to build the word. Once you check your, your mind and see how your character is, see how your behavior is, if you are, you are behind with the word of God, don't just sit there, my sister. Start coming here. If you want internal life, if you want to keep your secret, if you want to keep your secret, but that day, when it comes, it will never be a judgment of mercy. It will be a judgment to judge you. To judge your wrongdoings. So now, this Goliath, we Goliath. Everyone feared him. Kila moja alimogopa. He can stand in the air and say anything that he wants. Na akasema lolote anaotaka kusema. Any rubbish that he wants. Uchafu anaotaka kusema. That other side is to be quiet. Lakini ni upande mwingine ungekaa kimya. They won't say anything. Hawata sema lolote. Because they are fearing him. Kwa sababu wanamogopa. Because he's a giant. Kwa sababu yeye ni jitu. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, Akini, there was this little boy David. His father sent him Baba yake to go and visit his brother. When he was going there, pale, upon reaching there, I pale, he heard this Goliath say a lot of bad things on his brothers. Julian Duguzaki. It touched him. He, can he was not happy. How can I from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. But you find you are here as a class, a Christian. You are so called a Christian. We start talking bad things about your pastor. And you are there supporting that. that. Shame on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But David. He said, no, this cannot happen. Oh, he These are my brothers. These are children of God. Why should that person start insulting these ones? No. He remembers. When he was keeping his father's sheep, then he asked it. 
I want to see the commander. What I have said. He has not pleased me. Because his plans. Was free the Israelites. And his brothers. Stop him. And he refused him. But he said, No, my brother. You can't, you can't, you can't refuse me. So as a Christian, Ephesians' plan is to keep the word of God. Ephesians plan is to keep the word of God. Say no. Daudi. If everyone is refusing, I need to see the king. So everyone here is refusing to show me the king. He had the courage. Go and see the king. Yes. And when he went there, he told the king, What I have seen, what I have heard. I want to go and fight that man. I want to go and fight that man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The king looked at him. He says, Young man, you are just a youth. When you look at that person, he is very huge. He is trained. I'm a funzo. Yes. You, you are not trained. I can't allow you to go there. I've got people here who are huge here. Now, what Everyone is fearing me. Including me, Tim. I'm fearing to go there. What about you? No, 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 no. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. David had to, to explain to the king. David had an experience on his fathership. What experience do you have in your life, my brother? What experience do you have in your life, my sister? David had an experience in fathership. So David explained to the king how he kept the fathership, how he killed the bear, how he killed the lion. Then the, the king looked at him and he said, You know what? I admire your courage. I admire your courage. I admire your courage. It was heavy. It 
He said, Chief, King, what you have put on me, I'm not used. <laughs> I'm not used to these things. You started moving them. You started moving them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the king started moving them. Now, Goliath, I have to see a young man coming. I, 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 I,
huyo kijana akija he was coming na alikuwa akija and you know he was very huge na alikuwa mkubwa and then just like started laughing na kaza kucheka tu ah you people there now you are finished i wasema nje watu sasa huko mmekwisha all of you there nje nyote huko you can't come here huwezi kuja hapa then you have just sent a small one ndipo mmetuma hapa kidogo a small boy kitaka There's nothing big or small in the way of God. You can do wonders.
Uh, mwaka tina mimi mwezi wa kwanza tarehe 11 the greatest battle ever fought vita viku vivyo kupigana which our prophet preached ambayo nabii wetu alihubiri on the elephants tarehe 11 1962 mwaka 1962 let's hear what the prophet is saying hebu tusikie kile nabii anasema paragraph 183 paragraph ya 185 he said like a chicken in an egg kama kuku katika yai what if he is afraid to pick? Kama anaogopa kupata kwikwi. What if he is afraid to pick the egg? Kama anaogopa kutoboa lile yai. What if the little chicken inside the egg? Vipi kama yule kuku mdogo ndani ya yai? The little bird, you even beg him to was afraid to eat the egg. Alikuwa anaogopa kugonga ganda la ya la yai. What if he would have heard the sound on outside? Vipi kama angesikia sauti huko nje? Saying don't don't eat the shell. Asa usipike ichi ile ganda. You might hurt yourself. Unaweza ukajiumiza. But the nature itself. Lakini asili yake ni that bed. Katika huyo ndege tells him. Ninamwambia pick it. Yes. Don't go there. Don't go for in it. Don't go you. Tengeneza tuku in that situation my sister. Kama katika hiyo dada hiyo hali dada. If you are fearing to come out of that relationship that. Kama unaogopa kutoka katika uhusiano ulionao. But the nature is telling you. Lakini asili inakwambia. Just tell him out. Hallelujah. 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 So pick right against the shell. Ebu, piga hapo kwenye Uganda. Just as hard as you can. Kwa kazi tu na mweza. Sajom, Satan, get out. Na umambia Satan, ondoka. I am going out. Sina kwenda nje. That's it. Hiyo ni natosha. I am not lying here anymore. Sikai tena apa. I am not sitting here anymore. Sikai. Hallelujah. If you are not going to fight him, you are not a soldier of 
class. Y pongo ese ascario a Cristo. Of class. Come on, ascario a Cristo. Take the way. Chukwan. Take the class. Chukwan. Take the face. Chukwan. Take the fight. Let me up again. Check yourself, my sister. Amen. Check my yourself. Amen. Don't just hide there. Amen. Don't be like you in that egg. Amen. In that sin in which you are, that's an egg where you are. It has grabbed you. So you can't come out. But now, the word of God is coming to you. You break that one. This is the time. Check your, your, yourself, my sister. Check yourself, yourself. Check yourself. As a man of God standing here. When you check yourself in your mind, you see that there are problems here. It's the time to come here. Check your heart. 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 Check your heart.